Three, two, one, and pull. Wolves have officially taken the wraps off a new lounge for disabled supporters inside its £20 million Stankana stand. Head coach Kenny Jackett and chief executive Jez Moxie joined Wolverhampton-based Paycare in unveiling the dedicated facility for disabled fans at Molyneux yesterday. We have been committed to providing good facilities for disabled supporters for years and years and years. In fact, it was Sir Jack Hayward who first uh, introduced the idea of a, uh, an accessible lounge for disabled supporters um, and to find a sponsor such as Paycare that has existed as a consistent sponsor of ours and the, and the lounge for over 16 years and are committed to another two years or so is just really quite remarkable. I know they share many of the values that we have in regards to making sure that people are well looked after. We're very proud of the Stan Cullis stand. We're equally proud of the Disabled Supporters um, Pay Care Accessible Lounge. But to be honest, we're particularly proud of the supporters that we've got. Around 50 fans and partners joined Baroness Rachel Hayhoe Flint and Wolverhampton City Mayor Councillor Milkinda Jaspal. Um, when you introduced me, I was a little bit worried because I was speaking at a dinner the other week at, in the long room at Lord's and the Toastmaster came up to me and he said, um, shall I introduce you now to speak or shall we leave it for another 10 minutes and let them enjoy themselves? <laughs> <laughs> the lounge boats wheelchair friendly Hello, access, match day TV, live sky nice games and free We've refreshments and is decorated in images of the club's greats including Billy Wright, Steve Ball, Dave Wagstaff, Derek Dugan and John Richards. I was in the, the old room and this is a vast improvement, much spacious, uh, the lighting is brilliant and it's just a great atmosphere. Looking around the walls you see the, the, the history of the club, some of these guys I, I grew up myself watching and uh, remember Derek Dugan as a, as a founder member of the, of the PFA as a, as a young boy as I was coming into that organisation and you know, watching his work after his playing career and knowing what a legend he was. Jo John Richards is a man, is a, a, an absolute gentleman, not somebody that I saw play necessarily, but uh, uh, you know, terrific man and an absolute gentleman. And, and then my thoughts go forward and try to uh, create our own history. And, and that's what it's all about for me. It's about the future. I'm, I'm delighted to be here at a, such a, a fantastic club with a fantastic tradition, but my thoughts are all on going forward now. And, and you know, as everybody said, there's at least one or two walls in here that are yet to be decorated. And uh, if I could be a part of that and add my own uh, um, uh, uh, piece to, to, to the tradition of a fantastic club, then I'd be very happy. So it's great to meet you. Thank you for the invitation this afternoon. And uh, I, I uh, personally, am, am really looking forward to the season.